Flowers, how's going? This is Kessen. Welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Warship Machine 2004 on the final hours, precisely. Right, the journey continues with Yami Mari low level Ike attack. Yeah. So far, it all seems, seems to increase the attack of his monsters, but anyway, all he seems to do is literally abusing this white magical Adam and Muka Muka as monsters. It doesn't seem to have any strong monsters in his deck, but white, uh, you know, the the guy with the hat and Muka Muka. That's it, guys. And that fairy box. That's something that I really want gone, honestly. It's crazy how that card, such a card even exists for old school Yu-Gi-Oh games, seriously. It's absolutely one of the worst cards ever, really. Unbearable to see, unbearable to to deal with. It's annoying, really. One of the most annoying cards ever. Like, honestly. We are getting more close. More close we are getting, guys, to the end of the series. The one is never ending series, really, guys. Absolutely, it was one of the longest journey that I ever had. As a, a series that's not um, a non Muso series, it was one of the longest I ever brought on the channel, and I'm quite proud of that, to be honest. So, I, I'm I'm really glad I did it. I'm seriously happy, and obviously there will not be long series like this for a little bit. Of course, it was many eater bug. There will no, like there there will be other non quay series like I said and already one already has been placed in plan so yeah I already planned which one to bring it will be a surprise but it will be something that most of you will probably uh, appreciate hopefully <laughs> but I do believe you're gonna like it so I'm I'm very confident that you guys are going to like my choice so yeah. Let's give back Mavilo, and of course, we're going to get Mavilo, obviously, because Primatrue Burial will increase his attack. Even because it's like the only, pff, the only monster I got in my graveyard, so yeah. But honestly, guys, it, it it's really like keeping me busy, this Yu-Gi-Oh series, it's, it really is. After the uh, yummy, oh come on! I hate that morphing jar number two. I hate it. It's one the card I hate the most. <sighs> See, it's because of that. I fucking hate it. Oh great! One the card I hate the most, the morphing jar number two. But at least he gave me cyber stains, so that's not indeed a bad idea. Not a bad idea indeed. Okay. Jinzo. Ooh. Hello, Jinzo. Wait, did I get Jinzo? Did I get him? Get it. Okay. And Cyberstein, give me the ultimate weapon to win this duel. Of course. Jinzo might be helpful, of course it sacrifice Cyberstein. So yeah, guys, the the so long never ending down um Dynasty Wars 4 and uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's play are finally finished. They are finally completed. Well, Dance Wars 4 on the at the time of this I don't know the time, by the time of this video will be uploaded, the Dance Wars 4 series will be all uploaded. I don't think it will. However, this series, Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play, it really lasted me ages. It didn't take me too long in the end for Dusty. It was just a, like more than six months and same for Yu-Gi-Oh! However, I, I, I brought them both together, so... But still, they're very long. They're really long series, guys. Absolutely long. Very, very long series. So, yeah. I don't think it's wise to bring a Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play anytime soon, because as you can see, Yu-Gi-Oh! games are, are really long to finish. As you guys can see... Like, really, they, they, they're, they're absolutely long. Honestly, the... Um, World Championship 2004 is surely an annoying-ass game to finish, like, really. 
because you need to grind so bad to unlock everything. Every booster pack and every opponent, you need to grind a lot, like a lot. I mean, I plan to bring all the booster pack, so... I don't know who was the crazy person who decided to do all this in one let's play, but... Of course, people done this let's play, they probably like just skipped all the other duels and... Or skip some booster packs, but I'm not. I'm not skipping anything, really. I'm not skipping shit. Mm, let's just act in pure order, cause fuck Regeki. Fuck Regeki, seriously. <laughs> oh, there he is, Cyberstein, my best friend, my best buddy. Best buddy, Cyberstein. Oh, really? Torrential Tribute? Come on. Fuck that Torrential Tribute. Uh, no, can we have to our hand? Probably. I don't know, Mavilo yet. Guess Mavilo, we can add. Call the Hunter, obviously. Who we are going to call? Cyberstein, of course. Who else can we call, if not Cyberstein? And my best friend Cyberstein we're going to call. Eh, Blue Eyes. Ultimate Dragon. Too bad we cannot fucking summon Mavilo or, or else. God damn it. But I think we should win, guys. We should win. Yeah, yeah. No, come on. We're really missing, like... Ugh. Come on, we missed 300 life points is missing. That's why I wish we had my Vilo instead. God damn it. Damn it. We could have done a complete a complete destruction, but no. <sighs> Hopefully it's not going to be lucky with his draw. It, it can it can draw just all of a sudden some something that can help him. Come on, I don't believe it. Uh Royal Decree. Come on, Sebastian should be enough. Come on! Fuck that thing! He literally dropped that! Let me guess, he's going to be correct. Oh, fucking hell, thank god for that. That would have been way too much if it was correct, guys, seriously. That fairy box is way too busted and I hate it. That's like the only way for me to hate Yami Marik. With a fairy box. Oh, another Mystic Tomato. Nice. I got another one. Got another Mystic Tomato. Not bad. Not bad indeed. Really. We are on 7 wins against Mari. So 13 more. What? What's all them cards? What are all them cards? <laughs> Need heavy storm here around? No, I don't. Great. No mystical space type. Oh, not that. Not that. Not that. Definitely not that. But at least I got Royal Decree, so that's good. That's good, Royal Decree. Why? 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 Oh well. Fine by me anyway. It's not that I needed zombie that much. Easy, even this Christian's life points. Oh, and again, Mystical Space Typhoon to stop my Sword Reveal Light. How many times did I, I can never act in my Sword, my Sword Reveal Light because I always use Mystical Space Typhoon. Always, always. There is not a time when he doesn't use Mystical Space Typhoon against Sword Reveal Light. What's going on? Come on, man. This is just ridiculous. It's becoming, it's getting more ridiculous. I can it can never last my sword being like it can never last. Like I said, they they, they hate my sword revealing light. Yami Bakura and Yami Marik hates them because it's sword revealing light because it reminds them of Yugi. So as they save a mystical space typhoon only to destroy my sword revealing light, I feel like they save the mystical space typhoon only for that purpose. That's what I'm starting to think, guys, because I think it's a bit too much indeed, so... There must be something. 
And there really must be something. So yeah. That's what I believe at least. But oh well. And that thing says like infinite cards. <laughs> really infinite cards. Five jars, not that I need it, but let's set it. And then you know, there's that fairy box which won't work, but it's still going to he's still keeping that fairy box still. Oh well, let him keep it. I think it might destroy it automatically soon. Ooh, look what we got here. Look what we got. Magic cylinder. Nice, nice. Very nice. Even though it doesn't really work, Magic Cinder against him anyway. Because he got weak monsters, so... I feel like Yami Mark is one of the weakest characters so far. Mm. It's really easy to beat. He really doesn't seem to have anything OP at all. So yeah. I don't know, he seems very weak to me, Yami Marik. Very weak. It's probably because all the um, low attack monsters doesn't have OP monsters really. All he does is loads of traps and loads of monsters. Th that's it, that's all he has. So yeah, it doesn't exactly got the best cards, Yami Marik. If you want me to be honest. I don't know. I, I was expecting something like like destructive, something that will literally annoy you to death, but no, it doesn't. So, it doesn't seem like that. Oh well. Okay, mm, we got Sebastian and Jinzo. Of course, you got a fairy box, but I'm just trying to lure all them trap cards, so let's just start with Missy Tomato. Thank god it was false. Oh, fuck that Morphin Jar, I hate it. God damn it, I hate that Morphin Jar. I really hate that Morphin Jar number two. It's one of the most, my most hated cards. This is why I don't even bother keeping it in my deck. Because it's so annoying, even for you, for everybody. Like, really. Ugh, just even facing face up makes me, makes me sick. It's just an annoying card. That's it. Oh, thank God for that. Bye bye. What card are they? Hmm. Yeah, Magic Cinder as well. Like, seriously. Okay. So now let's go. Sebastian. Boom. And there is the ultimate destruction. We can attack with Sebastian, I think, because he doesn't. Uh, he obviously doesn't have many good monsters. So, wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> seven under defense. He had to have seven under defense on that white ass, really. Seven under he has, he has to have, really. Come on, man. Oh, well. Really? No! Before disasters. Ten moments before disasters. <sighs> Come on. Fucking hell. Ugh. I was I was happy. I was, I was thinking, oh, maybe this duel is gonna be fast, but no. Raigeki, it had to it had to stall me. And that many bald, I swear. Fucking hell! Stop destroying my monsters. <sighs> oh. Let me guess, it's another many bug. Oh, at least we got a spear dragon. At least it ca I can do something with a spear dragon, so. Can do some damage. Oh, wish I had more spear dragons. He is indeed a good card. Great. What is he going to get now? Oh, of course, Raigeki. Fucking magician of fate. No wonder he was banned. I mean, no wonder, guys. He was banned for a while, magician of fate, and now you see why. Why? 
And another set card. Great. Zombie really dark. Of course you cannot attack. Great. Oh well. And another set card. Great. Oh well, Magic Cinder maybe can be helpful. Maybe. Hopefully Reckless Grief will help me, but I'm not gonna count on it way too much. Yeah, of course. Give me Misty Tomato, like, come on. Seriously. I mean, I love Misty Tomato, however, I need something to finish the duel now. Not like tomorrow, now. Great. How many times does he have to stop me? Like, come on. Hopefully. Yeah, I even skipped the battle, the, the battle phase, oh well. Damn it. He's always so lucky, he always draws something to help him. And it's annoying as fuck. Morphin jar, let's use it. Better late than ever. Because we, I don't need to draw personally, but hopefully we can win this turn. And we did. We did, in fact, win this turn. Oh, thank God for that. About time. Left leg of the Forbidden One. Oh, nice! Another piece of Exodia. Another piece of the puzzle. We must well go for an Exodia deck, you know. I mean, why not? We can try. We, we can try to go for an Exodia deck, guys. Why not? We can go for the Red Eyes booster pack and go for an Exodia deck. I mean, it might not be great. Why? Oh, great. Fiber Jones. Great of it. Oh, well. I think maybe I got three pieces of Exodia, maybe. I don't know. But it would be nice to actually have an Exodia deck. Just see how can it work, if he, if he can work, especially. Hopefully, because if an Exodia deck can work well and fast, then we might as well go for an Exodia deck. But if he can, then we need to discard the idea for an Exodia deck. So, yeah. Change of heart. Even though I'm very curious to see how can it work. If we can match the build 1, by getting all cards for with um, but well, definitely pretty hard. Don't stop my, my monsters, piece of shit. If he can work out something like getting all defensive cards and all cards that can draw, off, we can literally go for an extra deck. He will, it might be too late, however, we can still see if he if it's gonna work. Look how many magic cards the piece of shit he has. Look at the piece of shit. So many magic cards. Look at him. Look at him, motherfucker. Might as well get rid of it. Reckless Greed, yeah, why not? Why fuck not? First, I want to see if it's safe to attack. Before boosting my Witcher the Black Forest with all... With United with stands, so... Oh, he has no cards, okay. He has no cards in his hand. Great, great, good to know. I would really like to give it a go for an extra deck, guys, but however, mm, it's not like gonna be super fast, I think. This is my worry about an extra deck. It might not be fast. It might not be fast, but I might give it a go. Point. We'll see how it goes. Ah, Muka Muka. Hmm. Muka Muka. Wow. Bold. That was bold to do something like that. That was indeed a bold action. But he did it. He in fact did. He in fact is going down for it. 
He is definitely going down. What he just did is literally screw himself pretty bad. For fuck's sake, what a retard is, Marik. Honestly, guys, he's like the weak, one of the weakest opponents I ever had face. Like, he's really weak. Never have ever faced such a weak opponent before. Another piece of the puzzle. Wow. I don't know if it was the same one. I don't know, really. I wonder if I got all the pieces. I don't think I do, but we might as well check if I got all the pieces. How many pieces at least I got. I seem to get many pieces straight away. I need to go like on the deep, like the deep, on the deep web on my cards. I need to go to see if I got how many pieces of the puzzle I got. I don't think I got any. Like, I don't think I got all of them, but. It might as well worth to take a look. One, two, three, four. I think I did go. Guys, I think I did got all the pieces. I remember I got the head. Guys, I got all the Exodia pieces. Oh my god. I literally got all the Exodia pieces. I got them all. Okay, time to build an Exodia, de an Exodia deck. Right. Be right back. Right. There we are here. We are back. So I managed to build like an Exodia deck, all I could do is basically get as many cards as I could to draw and to defend myself basically. Obviously that's how you will run an Exodia deck or how I will run, so yeah. It should not be too hard with Marik personally. So let's see what we got, okay, so Ravine Light, which will probably be destroyed because Marik hates it, we know that. Alright, we already got the head, so not bad. Not bad, we got the head already. Yeah, I got Nemomonga, yes, for for a change, I'm also using Nemomonga. <laughs> the card that always annoys me to death, I'm using it. Yep, Nemomonga. Let's see if an Exodia deck can actually be worked to use. It's fine, no point using Great Keeper server because I'm not going to attack. There's no point. There's absolutely no point, really. For why? Come on. That's why do you do that? Ah, oh, damn it! I'll use mag magician fate to to get a, a pot of greed again, really. Array to piece of the puzzle. That's good. That's good. Array to pieces. We got. Yams of the Dragon is not indeed bad. He's not bad indeed. Skill Angel, let's go with him. So yeah, he's not a, indeed like a... Come on, stop it! It's like he doesn't want to make me draw at all now. He's doing it on purpose. He is fucking doing it on purpose. Oh my god. <laughs> really? What a piece of shit. Stupid Marik. He's acting like a bastard now. He's doing it on purpose. No way. He's definitely doing it on purpose now. I never seen seen him acting like that and now look what he's doing. He's absolutely been irritating as fuck now. Like really, man. Oh no! He seriously done that. <gasps> Car destruction! Well, I need another backup and... No way! I thank god I got backups, another backup soldier in my deck, so that's good. That's good, guys, I got backup soldier, but... <sighs> Motherfucker! I need backup soldier now, great. I can't believe it. What did he just do? He literally... He literally just done that. But like I said, I have backup soldier, another one in my deck, so... Hopefully I can draw him fast. I can draw that card fast. Oh my god, fuck card destruction. Yeah, we carted... Okay, fiber jerry is also not a good thing to win. Let's not forget that. So yeah, I got good resources to to defend myself in case extra pieces are discarded, like you, like, like you, guys, can, you guys can see. Even though sometimes it can really make the process slow. But it's just a try in the end. So yeah, let's just do it now. We might as well. 
Because the motherfucker literally discarded my exuded pieces. And he destroyed my one of my backup soldiers, so that's no good at all. That's definitely no good. But it does seem to be a bit slow, to be honest, this exuded deck. So I might go back to my original one. Oh my god, why is he so lucky with, with, with drawing cards? Well, at least he didn't destroy a backup soldier or anything. He does have cards that can make me discard monsters, that's, that's for sure. So that's definitely not good. As you guys can see, that's not good. Why? Why did he, why didn't he just resurrect that? Okay. Makes no sense what he just did. He really doesn't. Oh well, if he's happy about it, I really don't care. Wow. <laughs> he just got all his full resources as always. As always. Maybe it was a bad idea to use Exodia. Like, first Exodia run. It's not doing so good. Definitely not. Okay, backup soldier. Hopefully he's not going to destroy it again. Because I, I do need it in case my Exodia pieces are discarded. Uh, so far, I really got nothing. Okay, Jerry, Good, good. Yeah, guys, like I said, this dude is going slow as hell because I decided to use Exodia. But, I mean, I want to at least do one win again with Exodia deck. At least once. Why not? What the fuck not? Why? Why is he doing that? I recall never understand. I can never understand, Marek. Another backup, so okay, this one, keep it in my hand. Just in case. He's gonna use another RP for a duster. Wow, he, he seriously got all resource, all good resources. <laughs> can't believe it. I seriously can't believe it. Oh, of course, gonna summon another giant germ. And gonna ultimately do a kamikaze with the. Uh, Hmm, what a thing. White at whatever his name is. Kamikaze, boom! Honestly, it does rely a lot. Oh no. Forgot about the Grave Keeper shit. What did I discard? Yeah, another giant jerk. Wait, what was it? Nimumonga. Alright, never mind then. Okay, good. Two pieces of the puzzle we got in our end. Two pieces. Let me guess, it's going to be something very useful. <laughs> what did I say? Of course it had to be one piece of Exodia. Come on, man. I knew it. Like, I fucking knew it. What did I say? It was a piece of Exodia. The, the world is he discarded it seriously. Right. I got it back, thank God for that, but it's still very annoying. It's probably wrong to use Exodia against Marik because Marik is seems like to be an opponent that can discard your monsters pretty easily. Very very easily, so yep. Okay, I got Skill Angel and Jerry so good cards to draw. That's perfect at least. Oh my god. Perfect. It's not perfect at all, but whatever. Oh well. We gonna escape, of course. At least we got Spear Reaper with us. Honestly, this is the slowest duel I ever had. Me trying to summon Excel like a retarded. 
I'm not going to attack, so there's no point. Using first time Exodia against the wrong opponent. Yeah, I I'm smart. I know I'm smart. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. Seriously. I'm seriously smart. Because Marik only got loads of cards that can literally discard cards in my hand, so... I'm literally facing the wrong opponent. I I'm not getting anything useful as well, so... Because I literally need all cards that can let me draw. All of them. Not a single one. Oh my god, I great Keeper Servant, I swear. I'm not gonna attack, so... Okay, we got three pieces of the puzzle. Three pieces, guys. Three pieces. Let's not, let's not lose hope. Let's not lose hope, guys. Three pieces are with us. Three pieces, guys. Okay, now it won't be able to keep anything. Card destruction. I don't think it's good because I got the head, so... Um, backup soldier only works with normal monster. Hmm... Yeah, except most of his effort. So, backup soldier only works with mo with, um, monsters with effects. So I really cannot u use card destruction. That's too bad. Spirit Reaper Wool, of course. What? Why did he do that? Okay. I don't understand why the fuck did he do that. Oh, fairy box. Okay, then I don't care. One more piece of the puzzle, guys. Let's see. I don't know any normal monsters from on the graveyard, so I don't know why I can active the um, the backup soldier. Really, I don't understand guy, that. You can't discard when there are five or more monsters in your game. You take up to three monsters cards, except monster with effects. So I don't know why you let me activate it. But I don't. Know. I don't know. That's too bad, really. I call it card destruction, but I got the head, so I can't recover. I can't recover the head with backup soldier, which is very unfortunate. It is really, really unfortunate. So yeah. Come on, guys. We almost. Cl we are close. I'm not gonna lie, I do like I do like the deck. However, if I add more cards that can literally make me draw he's more easily, I will use it more often. Seriously, I will literally do that. Great. My other backup soldier is dead. Come on, one more piece of the puzzle. One more piece. And of course I'm being unlucky as fuck. No! I'm so done. Oh! What? You piece of shit! No, that's it. That's it. I'm so done. No more Exodia. No more Exodia. This is how it ends. No, fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Like, come on, man. What? This is just bullshit. Fuck off. Fuck off! You fucking piece of shit! That's how he ends! I can't believe it! I can't believe it! I'm sorry, but that was just unfair! No, that that's just stupid! That's just stupid! I'm sorry! I dropped the last pieces when he discarded all my other cards! You piece of shit! That's just ridiculous! Honestly! Okay! At least I found Marik String. Marik String is an is an anti Exodia deck, definitely. You cannot win against Marik if you own an Exodia deck, definitely not. Like you definitely cannot win against Marik if you plan to go un with an Exodia deck. You can literally face any other characters, any other duelist with Exodia deck, but not Marik. Marik is the last opponent you have to go with Exodia, really, because he will keep discarding everything you have. Like, literally everything. Not like something. Everything. He got loads of card destruction and... And... I don't know what... Anything I can discard. The Link when do a card destruction. He got everything to discard. Your hands. Everything. He's insane. He's an insane opponent to face. Come on. Why is he summoning my monster now? And now he's, like, he's been 
fucking lucky. Great. Great. That's no good. Now he's fucking been a, a piece of shit. Been lucky as hell. Get, rid get, get away with my monster, you motherfucker. He's my monster, not yours. Okay. Fucking fairy box. Really? That fairy box should. I can say, guys, it should be banned. Okay, now Mark is annoying me. He's fucking annoying me now. Yeah, he's annoying me. It's, it took a while, but now he's really annoying me. Be yeah, because I could not beat him with Exodia. Yeah, because of that, I know. I know it's, it, it seems ridiculous, but he's annoying because of that. I could not beat him with Exodia. Well, I should have known. And, and again, he's been correct every time. No! Ah, come on! Fucking man eater bug! Come on! Really? Now he's seriously been a pain in the ass. He's just been a pain in the ass now. Oh my god, he's now been a fucking pain. I can't believe it. Now he's seriously been a fucking pain. <sighs> can't believe him. What the fuck is he doing? Right, I tried to, to attack him again, yeah. I'm literally going for that. To lure him all the straps because there's no on there's nothing else I can do really. I don't see what else can I do. Let me guess, he's going right again with it with it with it again! Oh why I was getting right with a fucking fairy box. See like that fairy box is absolutely way too busted and the AI makes him more busted. Oh my god. Ma, nah, fuck off. I'm gonna destroy that bug. Not my monster, of course. Why should I do that? What? Why did you do that? What? You piece of shit! How many bugs does he have? Oh my god! Let me, let me use Cyber Jar here because this is getting very bad. But well, the situation is getting really bad. He's seriously been lucky as hell with that fucking box. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I, f I find it very ridiculous. What else does he have? Morphin Jar, okay. Morphin jar. Then let's use it. Oh, finally! About fucking time! About fucking time! Too late, but whatever. You piece of shit, Marek. I hate you. I fucking hate Marek. No. Uh, finally, we done it to beat him. Once and for all. Well, not once and for all, because we still got many jewels to face, but... Okay, guys. It did, it did go pretty bad with uh, Exodia, but... I don't think I'll ever try it again. Maybe with Yami Yugi, I'll see if I can do it again, but I don't know about Yami Yugi's deck. If Yami Yugi's deck will... Will have so many cards that can discard, then I don't think it's possible to win with Exodia. Winning with Yami Marek using an Exodia deck is definitely... Hard, really hard because he discard way too much cards in your hand, so it's definitely not recommended. But Yami Yami Yugi, maybe. Maybe Yami Yugi. Reaper of cards. Wow. Well. Right, we got eleven wins, nine more wins against Marik. So for the worst, I guess this is it for now, and I'll catch you guys later. Like, subscribe, comment, also consider becoming a member of my channel, and I'll see you guys through the next episode. Stay tuned, bye bye.